subscriber sent me this crazy video and this crazy story regarding his fight back for his son. Let's watch. Y'all probably wonder what's going on, but yes, that's me, my son, and his mom. Hold on, don't click off this video real quick. I'm gonna show you why I'm posting this video with Terrence Crawford, because he inspired this. Bud came out with his hands balled up. Then his daddy said, we got a million dollar baby boy, and I said, we ain't got shit. Now let's get back to the video, but I'll explain everything here shortly. For a little context, they're at a basketball game. This brother right here is who we just heard from a second ago. That's their son. And then this is the mother. You could tell that the mother, who has full custody, by the way, grabbing onto the arm of the young boy who obviously doesn't want to go while the father is attempting to protect the boy. Stop. Get your ass up here. Come here. Mm. Where are you holding on? Due to YouTube's guidelines, I cannot show some of what just happened at the end right there, but essentially someone came in and attempted to grab the mother off of the young boy. But I also wanted to freeze frame right here, and honestly, you could tell that this is a young boy that clearly loves his father, but is just as much in fear of his mother. This kind of fear or this kind of response from a young boy will only surface from someone who's been traumatized multiple times by somebody and it's clear that somebody is the mother see the impact of maternal abuse on sons can be profound and long lasting sons who grow up with abusive mothers are going to experience a bevy a range of emotional as well as psychological effects including low self-esteem anxiety depression anger and difficulty forming healthy relationships going into the future they're going to have trust issues, especially with women in the future, because the first loving bond with a woman has been tarnished by the mother's behavior. And it really goes to show how important that this father's role is in this particular situation. The video y'all saw was of my son when he was younger. His mom pulled up on us when he was at an event and was claiming that I kidnapped my son and that I was brainwashing my son. I was neglecting my son. I was putting my son in danger. She was just recently in a situation where her house got shot up close to 30 times. Whoa. Two people died. She was shot. Her boyfriend was shot. Um, she got shot. And her family member got shot, but he got killed. So her boyfriend got killed and her cousin got killed. She survived. But one thing about that situation, she ran towards the kid's bedroom. Or she ran towards a bedroom that was right lined up with the kids. So when they shot... Thank God that, you know, the bullets didn't go through them and through the walls and kill the kids. But that's just a side note. But even after all of that, she's trying to say that he's being abusive. And the reason why she's saying that is because if you listen to the clip, she said, call the cops. So really, her plan was to set some false allegations forward in order to control the situation. After that situation happened, um, my son was staying with me. She pulled up on us. It was like, we kid I kidnapped my son. The only reason why my son was with me and was not with his mom during this time period was because, for one, or the dude she was with, 
he did he was selling drugs and so he tried to rob somebody and it went wrong so they try to set up some dude and he got them before they can get him even though she tries to spin the story but when he was interrogated after he getting caught that's what he came up with so before he got caught i didn't know what was going on so i made sure i went to get my son because when this happened the government was trying to step in and maybe see what was going on see if the kid was being neglected because it was a bunch of kids in the house when this happened so i made sure i got my son immediately so since she was in the hospital so my son wouldn't be in the system so i went to get my son and was calling up to the hospital they wouldn't release any information because she was shot they couldn't catch the subset or the suspect yet so whenever someone gets shot if you're not like a certain type of family member they don't let you come into the hospital room or get in or you can't call up to the hospital and get information about who you're looking for so i tried that didn't work so i had to wait for you know her to reach out to me when she did <clears throat> she just started flipping cussing me out was like where my son at you keeping my son from me i was just shot and she kept arguing with me and i was like okay just talk to your son here goes damari and i put my son on the phone i was just like here talk to your son i put my son on the phone and she was just still cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing and cussing he was trying to get her attention and he was like dad she's not talking to me she's just cussing you out and then and i said let her know you're on the phone and, and when he mm. said his name she was like i don't care put your dad back on the phone mm. and i'm like oh you're crazy i said why won't you talk to him He's like no you're, you're trying to be slick you're trying to keep him from me because you're trying to get off of child support in the majority of these cases that's what it always comes down to she don't care about her son and the son knows that why else do you think that the son was latching on to the father's arm like that? Utilizing children for child support or rather lifestyle support is absolutely diabolical. I'm not going to go on this whole backstory on child support, but this woman had me on child support. She put me on child support and she played games because she was playing playing me and someone else was trying to make it seem like it was someone else's baby when it was mine and i was trying to say it was mine but she was telling him it was his and he was going crazy putting his hands on her trying to you know hurt me maybe supposedly but i wasn't you know phasing it but he was making threats towards me you know because of her and she was playing all these games and trying to later on marry me when i was in the military I was telling him she was going to get my car and divorce me take everything and then my son was going to be with them because you know she was pinning the kid on pinning my son on him and saying he wasn't mine it was just messy so she got exposed everything blew up she couldn't you know take you know take you know she couldn't accept her responsibility in what she caused the damage she caused in this family amongst people in the community so later on you know she never got a dna test never knew if he was mine at the time so when i went to afghanistan before i went to afghanistan she popped up at the house to come see me it was like hey here's your son and and then i knew he was mine because i can just see it see it's clear as day my name was already on birth certificate but i knew he was mine so I'm like, cool, we need to work stuff out. We need, I need to be in my son's life. You know, I don't like all that drama. She's like, cool, cool. I leave, go to Afghanistan, boom. About a month, two months later, I was in, I had to go to court, didn't know it. So I had a child support hearing. They put me on child support. But because she pulled up on me before I went to Afghanistan, I set stuff up. My mom is sending her a thousand bucks a month. So I was giving her a thousand bucks a month. Then child support was hitting me for like 600 and some change. So I was giving her about 1600 bucks a month for one kid. And then by the time I came back, they were still expecting me to pay that amount. So I was, I was literally broke. But anyway, mm. she was doing all this, spending money on some other guy. My son was in dookie diapers pee diapers she's feeding this dude lobster steak everything i'm helping paying the bills my mom was helping out when my mom found out she told me and i was i was livid but she wasn't pouring into my son she didn't care about my son by the time i got out the army my son was already living with someone else living with her aunt and she wasn't taking responsibility of my son but she was still collecting child support payments and child support never stopped it interrupted no nothing it was terrible i, I will break this stuff down if y'all want more on like what was my mind frame why i didn't go to courts or you know a little bit more about me but anyway so just fast forward to the future she just was neglecting my son so many different times i was trying to get close to my son i finally got real close to my son got him with me and was, you know, making him, trying to help him become a better person than what I was. And so he can break any family curses. Next, you know, I found out my son is lacking a lot of different school, I mean, tool sets. Or he's lacking a lot of different skill sets or tools that he needs to survive in the future, definitely as a man. So I found out his mom was just chasing other dudes. She was wanting me. She was using my son as a as a pawn to get money out of me or to get me back with her. If I couldn't be with her, That's she was going to get money to make me suffer and to try to keep me from being with other people. And she said out of her mouth, I got I got all kind of I got other proof, too, that y'all can listen to. But anyway, so when that moment came and her house got shot up and I see my son was still behind in life and struggling with certain things, 
Um, you know, they was calling him Debo. He was a bully. He wasn't doing good in school. He didn't have really any skill sets. He stuttered. I used to stutter. He didn't know how to read, spell. I was like, bump that. He's with me. I'm about to get him right. And until we find this guy who shot up your house, almost killed my son and these kids, he can't come back with you just because of the way you was cussing on the phone while he was talking to you. And then all you was focused on was child support, child yeah. support, child support. I let you get child support. For two years while he was still living with me, never called and complained about it or nothing. But as soon as I was like, hey, I want to stop the child support. So I'm sitting in the private school. I'm doing all this extra stuff for him. I need this money to come into my household with my family. You was popping up, torturing my family, doing all this extra stuff. You popping out at events, trying to say I kidnapped my son. All because of child support. All because of child support. I can give y'all more backstory, but I'm going to just say now my son saw that Terrence Crawford video and I thank God that we already put him in boxing or I've been teaching him how to box basketball, but he's, he's loved boxing even more. And he's, he's more inspired to fight back for his life because he saw Bud's story with his mom. And so we've seen how his mom thought about him and how his dad thought about him. He's like, that's like my same situation. My dad been speaking great things about me. So he wants to see and his mom done called him stupid, dumb, all kind of stuff. Mm. And I and I speak differently. I speak against that. So my son's gonna make it. Um we're trying to get him to the NBA. He might go to he might go to boxing now. So if he goes to boxing, I'm gonna move back to to my hometown and put him in a gym with Buzz since I know Bud and you know, see Bud would show my son some love, not yeah. like give him extra cool points but just show them how to you know get that little edge that dog because i have it too but you know sometimes you need other people from the community to pour into people i'm not a, a blocker of blessings so i just wanted to make this video real quick just to let people know like hey fella speak out stand up use your voice i didn't speak out but i have documented stuff over the years i just never spoke up because i didn't think there was a platform for it for, for it sorry y'all i'm just getting passionate there i didn't is. think it was a platform for it but people have been showing mad love on a video for Terrence crawford speaking up you know giving him praise was saying like his mom was wrong for that they they, they spoke you know blessings over the dad but the mom she might have changed by now so, you know, I'm, I'm open for forgiveness and second chances, but you got to really show the work. You can't just say the stuff and just expect someone to forgive you, because if you've been forgiven already, and you already blew the word forgiven without putting the work in to get forgive. Bump that. So I'm going to finish up the video in a quick second. It's almost done. But shout out to all of the single fathers out there. I am a product of a single father after my parents got divorced when I was about seven years old. And just like this father right here, he made it his damn mission to ensure that I would have the foundation necessary for success. And I love to see, including all of the examples that he put in here of the foundation that he has instilled and that he continues to instill to his boy regarding manhood. And here's the thing. If he did not step in when he did, how he did, this young man right here would have been a statistic coming from a mother that looked at him as a paycheck, who was spending her paychecks on the different men that are in and out of the household. There's no foundation there. There's no stability. And if you take safety away from a child, more often than not, they'll find other places or other groups or other associations that makes them feel more safe. It stunts their growth, stunts their development. I'll give y'all more information, but my son, he's been living back with me. Um, he, he used to go back and forth a little bit. Like when I took him from his mom and not took him, but kept him with me, you can say took him or whatever. When I kept him with me and got him, um, caught up on school, taught him how to read, a bunch of other skill sets. He wanted to go back with his mom. Nah, that is wild. 30 days. Look at that. It damn near brings a tear to my eye to see what discipline can do. She was allowing him to eat all of this junk food and shit like that. It was crazy. He has his father's genetics underneath the layer of fat that the mother was allowing him to, to develop. But you take away the junk food and put him when on I a kept strict him with workout regimen. got him um, caught up on school, oh. taught him how to read, spell, a bunch of other skill sets. He wanted to go back with his mom because my Good standards job, were high. Man. But then he realized that's not the place to be. And so she kind of kept him from me a little bit longer. He came back with me. I got him back. He got a when she was trying back. to get him girlfriends, he was about to run away. He was about to wild out. I said, no, nah, I'm coming to get you. He was still that same little boy when I, when I took him to to, to, uh, he was still that same little boy when he went to go li live back with his mom. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. But he was that same little boy that I dropped off at his mom house. But I've been pouring back into him. Um, she wouldn't let him work out since he's been back with me. He's been working out. His stomach's getting right. His body looking good. We about to blow up. And I thank you, son, for you know pushing me to put this on a YouTube. You know, 
you're believing in me like I believe in you. Mm -hmm. And I just want to tell the world, thank y'all for everyone who shows love, support. If y'all want to support the channel, just subscribe, like, help us run up the numbers. But my son, he's going to make it. Be looking yep. out for him. The name of this brother's YouTube channel is Work Plus Gains. I'm going to put a link down in the description box. You guys can go over there on the original video and share with him your thoughts regarding what it is that you just saw here. I think as a community, we need to congratulate, continue to congratulate fathers that go above and beyond, that stop at nothing to ensure greatness. Shit, after we gone, the youth is all that we have. And the youth represents us, represents our society, represents our culture, represents boundaries, discipline. The better the youth, the better the society. And that could be your legacy. Doesn't have to be, but it could be. You know, I look back on my father's life through all the stories that his friends have told me. And I for sure know I am his legacy. I am his greatest achievement and accomplishment. If you was to ask him that before he passed, he would absolutely say that. But here's the thing, and it's also why I've struggled so much. And I know it, but it don't show up on camera, but why I've struggled so much since his death in the form of grief is because just like I was his legacy, he was also a component of my purpose because while I understood the things that he sacrificed within his life to ensure my foundation, I recognized that as a young boy and my way to try to repay him was to be the best man that I ultimately could be. And similar to my father, I think that this young boy is gonna do something similar. Shout out again to Work Plus Games. Thank you so much for your story, my brother. Again, everybody in my audience, I'll leave a link to his video in the description box down below. And for all of my Gs out there that did not grow up with a father in the household, just as I talked about before, about the youth and decisions that they're making to form the society in the future, you can make the decision to break the cycle. Now, when I talk about the cycle, I mean, if your dad actually was a deadbeat, not your mom convinced you that your dad was a deadbeat, but deadbeat fathers absolutely exist, but break the cycle. Your best revenge in a situation like that is to be the father that he didn't want to be. Questions, comments, concerns, mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. What'd you guys think about the video here today? Leave me your comments down below and I will see you guys soon. Last but not least, you guys join my self-development community yet? Link to it down in the description box down below. It's free. Come up, beam up, see the brotherhood that's forming. Until next time, YouTube. Peace!